Tonight we'll be finishing off the black truffle pasta sauce from Chef's Mandela. It was very good. I already had it with some cheese ravioli, so let's do it with some Italian sausage ravioli since we got those in the fridge for a few days and got to get rid of them. Uh, but this was very good on the cheese. I don't think it's going to be better on the uh, Italian sausage ravioli. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. Okay, the product is in frame. It's right there, TikTok. What's up, Kipa? We're making some pasta. It's 10 p.m. It's uh, 8 o'clock here. Got the fire on. I gotta grab some salt. I probably have some leftover salt in an MRE. Let me check. Oh yeah, they always, they always have so many salt packets in like every MRE because you're gonna be sweating out there in the field. All right, so and in combat and stuff. So you need to replace your salt. So this is uh, four grams. That is a lot of salt. And it has uh, iodine in it, which you need. Let's see. It contains salt, sodium, silico aluminate, dextrose, potassium iodide. Yeah, potassium iodide's a necessary nutrient that, that you need. But this sauce, it was $12, now it's $9.99 in the TikTok shop. Um, I don't know how much it is on their website. But you, you have a lot of options for like savings and coupons and stuff here on TikTok. So you can definitely uh, try this sauce. In the TikTok shop. Raised in the shadows of oak and hazelnut trees, these subterranean fungi add a level of... That's where I've never seen before. Haute cuisine to your table? Luxurious, but delicate. Italian truffles are among the most expensive tubers in the world. Unlike most ingredients, they infuse the rare fifth savory flavor of umami into your now delicious dish of pasta. And it says, like you, I understand how frustrating it is to jug juggle a million different things each day, and yet still find time to craft a beautiful meal. From the island of Sicily, we present for your tasting pleasure for our own handcrafted gourmet sauces. Each chef-created recipe is made with only 100% Italian vine-ripened tomatoes, local herbs, spices, and Sicilian extra virgin olive oil. Stop feeling stressed or ashamed and start making boring last minute dishes delicious stop feeling stressed or ashamed and start making boring last minute dishes delicious I wouldn't say uh, it's a boring last minute dish but Maybe that sentence needs to be revised. <laughs> Hell, your meals ever get better if you don't try something new. Enjoy your black truffle sauce today. Can I get a plushie in the claw machine? 
you gotta pump like 20 or 30 dollars into a claw machine in order to get a plushie usually i've won a plushie maybe once or twice i won a plushie once on the first try which was amazing and i got a story to that i should read us a book i've done that before Thank you for the corn you sent me. I usually do that as like a joke. It's corn. Okay, sauce is in frame. I like everybody in a life to have a gift. I don't like seeing zeros on people's statuses. about time to clean that fridge up. It's smelling a little, um, a little funky. So, got some Italian sausage ravioli. You should read us a book, please. I, I drove out into the field and I'm cooking out of the back of my truck. I don't think I have any books in my truck. I do have a Land Rover magazine. I should totally uh, get dressed up like Tatiana's father and like read the Land Rover magazine. Because just today I got the glasses in from the TikTok shop. So I have the glasses that look kind of like her dad's glasses. I found the exact model that he wears, but man, those things are like, those are like $100 glasses. I found them used on eBay, like 100, 140 bucks and just like, for pulling off a prank on TikTok, that's like a little bit more money than I want to spend, especially if I don't have a job right now. So I got some uh, some cheap glasses off the TikTok shop that look pretty spot on, but they're just not the same brand. For like eight dollars or whatever it was, you know, you know, for a prank, I don't want to spend like over a hundred dollars on a on a prank. I don't have that kind of money anymore. <laughs> What are you doing outside? We're in the field. And when I pulled up, I saw that fox again. Or one of its siblings. And then I like, kept running away as I was driving up. So it is out here. And I saw it fighting with the sibling over here. So I did see the fox today. You hate foxes? Why do you hate foxes? They're so cute. And they make, and they make cute noises. I mean, like, if you're on a farm and you have chickens and they're eating your chickens, I can kind of understand that. Like, I started to hate raccoons because the raccoons were, were, um, were killing all of our barn cats. So, I started to, to learn to hate the raccoons because we're just going through cats like crazy. Send me a greeting? What do you mean a greeting? Like hi? So I don't get a violation. We're cooking uh, Italian sausage ravioli with this black truffle sauce. So this is currently on sale for $9.99 in the TikTok shop which is a hell of a deal because it has truffles in it and everything truffle is expensive. And like this guy like packages stuff up himself and, and writes on it. Or at least he does when he sends it to me anyway. <laughs> uh, truffle ruffle, you're hungry? Well, come on over. Otherwise I'm just gonna eat all the raviolis myself.
Mamma mia! Got my trusty mess kit. I want to figure out a way to like incorporate this into like my, my tail rack. I might have to make like a whole new one, but it'd be cool if I could like have like little storage compartments on there and like have like all one of these like cooking stuff dishes out there. So like when everything's dirty, I just like put it back in the tail rack and like stays on the outside of my vehicle rather than having to put dirty dishes like back in my vehicle. Kind of just an idea I had. You like foxes? They just scare me. I mean, I'm worried it might like have like rabies or something, and if it bites me, then I need to like rush to the hospital. Definitely concerned with how close it came last time too. Cause it was like snooping around my truck and like looking like I was gonna hop into the driver's seat. Like I walk over there, then it came within like four feet of me. What's your favorite animal? I love wolves. Um, huskies are probably my favorite dog, so that kind of makes sense. Flat line. Hello, hello. You're so hungry? Well, come on out here to this field. Like, if if you know where I am, you can, like, come on out here and then, like, I'll serve you some raviolis. Look at that sky. Soundway's favorite wife Transformers fan? What? You're in a whole different state? Oh. Well, you always travel for a convention and then come on out and I'll like uh, cook you food at a convention. So I've had uh, people come from, what was it, like Oregon and Washington came on down for, uh, for a carrier con last year. And I cooked, oh, and Nevada. And I cooked, here, and I cooked uh, breakfast and dinner. And then, what was it? Then, like, last year at Faname, uh, same girl from Nevada. Oh, and then Oregon, she came on down again. We did a bunch of videos. I cooked, I cooked so much. Uh, I cooked, I don't think I had eggs that time because I was going, trying to do, like, a little bit cleaner. But, like, man, I had brought so much steak. I had, like, filet mignon twice and, like, uh, burgers and, like, chicken or uh, turkey burgers and then regular burgers. And then uh, another steak. I forgot what else I had. <laughs> Ever been to Montana? No. The closest I went was um, Wyoming. And that was only because there was so much snow. We went 80 up through Wyoming and came back down through, uh, not Idaho. I think it was like Utah, like the edge of Utah coming on back down. I should go to Bakersfield. I've been to Bakersfield plenty of times. I don't like Bakersfield. Ooh, that's done. I'm just gonna go drain this hot water somewhere. That's too bad. You got rejected. What? I'm, I'm missing chat because I'm cooking.
Probably a little overdone, so it kind of got a little mushy. So I save some for the fox and, and I put it out on like a, I don't have a paper plate, maybe like a some cardboard or something. I should, last time I put some cat food out and then the, the cat food was gone and there's a bunch of fox poop on there. So I'm just like, well, I, I guess it ate it, but I don't know if that's like an insult or a thank you. <laughs> but I have so much cat food. I keep cat food in the back of my truck for all the, like the homeless kitties I see in parking lots and stuff. Let me see if I get a good angle here. All the last of the sauce. Is it yummy? It's very yummy. Um, truffles aren't really my thing. So it's got a little bit of a, a truffle smell, a little earthy. Put a lot of, uh, they put a lot of uh, uh, mushrooms in here. I'm also not a fan of mushrooms, but this is, this is very good. This is like a very classy meal. Like you'd like, be like a, like a, a date dinner for like your, your wife or your girlfriend. But me personally, I'd go for the uh, the Sicilian olives, the eggplant parmesan, or the creamy vodka. Those are like my three favorite uh, out of all these pasta sauces. This one's very good. Um, usually it's a little bit more expensive, but right now it's only the same price across the board, like $9.99 for all of them. Um, very, very, very good. Not my thing. Um, but I would, I'd definitely buy this again for like a, for like a date if it's like someone... Loved like the black truffle stuff. How do I draw hair? Just put a bunch of lines on really fast. Ever been to Tennessee? No, but you're the only 10 I see. I usually would like move the tripod and get closer shots, but I'm just being lazy today. Please come to Pavilion. Is Pavilion like a city? Usually a pavilion refers to like a, a building, like, like a convention center. That all these sauces are like oily, but like oily in like a good way. Not like oily, greasy, like as in a like come out of your skin. Just like oily, like it's delicious. So I want to mop it all up with a piece of bread. <laughs> you ever been down in Delaware? Um, I don't think so. The only time I went on the East Coast was like when I was a kid back in like 1992. We did like whole East Coast tour thing, National History Museum, uh, Statue of Liberty. New York City, that kind of thing. Pavilion is a town. Okay. 
got attacked by a carpenter bee earlier. Well, what'd you do to upset him? Or her, I should say. Delaware is great. We have the best places, like the mall, the mall, the mall. Ever been in Wisconsin? No. A tornado warning last week in Wisconsin. I would have thought that's a little too north for a, uh, a tornado. Don't come. It's not exciting. What if I don't like um, exciting? What if I like like calm and quiet and boring? Guess what? Chicken butt. I like even like these uh this label like like the sticker is just like even high quality right like it doesn't even leave any residue it's just this heavy duty satin glossy sticker am I just being a nerd about like Bougie RV. US, uh, US coal partner. I think, I think that's a uh, a new username. I should do some more uh, Bougie RV videos. I got the, the camp light here. And I got it charged up so I can do some more uh, TikToks. And then the, the fridge, I got to clean it out. I got like one more idea for that fridge for a TikTok. And then I uh, got the camp light that's kind of buried. I'm gonna get that out tonight and do a couple of little videos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get kitted up and, uh, and use that for a few things. I keep forgetting to demonstrate um, putting the tent stakes into the ground, like hammering it in. I should do that in the daylight when it's easy to see rather than like trying to do that at night. Yeah, if you guys like camping and outdoors videos and stuff, like you need a refrigerator in your truck, right? What sauce is that? This is the, it should be like a link, like on down below or up top or something. It's the, the black truffle sauce. Very good, uh, not my favorite. I like the, uh, the vodka, the creamy vodka is pretty good. The Sicilian olive and like the eggplant Parmesan would like, those are my favorites. Not everyone's a fan of truffle. I mean, it is very good. You gotta go, gotta go film some more videos. All right. Very good, not my hair. I mean, it's like, like the fifth sauce of theirs I've tried. It is delicious. Got a collab with this uh, gourmet food importer and they import and stuff from like Sicily and Italy. I'm gonna try the sauce now. It's like snakey boys. I've had uh, some pet snakes.
You gonna go? You're tired? Yeah, I know it's um, like 8 o'clock here on the West Coast, and for everyone else, it's like 10 or 11. You never thought you'd wake up to the captain eating pasta. Why not? There's pasta MREs. I mean, the, the cheese tortellini is a very good uh, MRE. Out of all the, out of all the MREs, some of the vegetarian ones are the best ones. And um, even if, like, the main's not good, like, usually they toss some great sides in. And then there's the uh, the chicken pesto. It's a good one. The ratatouille is like okay. I kind of got sick on that one. What else is there? I mean, there's so many pasta MREs, but they changed over the years. There's beef ravioli, which basically like Chef Boyardee, like not that good. Um, what's another one? Oh, there's the spaghetti and meatballs. Um, I haven't seen that one in a few years. I don't know what the, the new menus are. I'm back and I got cheese and crackers. Yeah. Let me have a bite. Come on over. I'm just out in the field somewhere. It looks so good. It is very, very good. It's like too classy to be in a in a mess kit. The constructor we have like, well it's pretty big, so I've been cutting it in half. And I just buy like the grocery store ones. Have a nice meal. Thank you. If you want some, but you're across the country, you could totally buy this sauce on the TikTok shop. They're uh, they're in New Jersey. You wait food out of a broken cup. Got truffles in it? Yes, truffles and mushrooms. They were, um, I think the ingredients said they were minced or diced. I have to check. It is very, very good. Actually, I should get the, um, the light out. <laughs> Belmont joined. You want to join? Want to join me for dinner? You can have the, the cheese tortellini. You tried the MRE with tacos that has the mini Tabasco bottle? Um, there's the beef taco MRE. And as far as I know, when that thing came out, they have the little Tabasco packet and not the little Tabasco bottle. The little bottles they faced out a long time ago. Unless they brought it back recently as like a morale thing. 
that'd be awesome. But it was a, it was a cost cutting measure to get rid of like the little glass bottle and just put a packet in there. And same with like the cardboard boxes. They got rid of the boxes and the sleeves, trying to like reduce weight and stuff. You had that one before. It's not good. If you uh, put to some um, Taco Bell sauce on it, then it's pretty good. You're going to college in August and you're scared? Why is that? Are you going away to college and you have to get a dorm and do that whole thing? Because I know that can be like a little nerve wracking because like you're you're moving and you're going to school and you have no idea where you're going to stay. And... Bought a few of Maurice and the bottle was hilarious. Yeah, there's this cute little bottle. I used to have my kitchen line with those things. Oh, your college is two hours away, so you would totally be able to still like visit friends and family. That's not bad. Okay, bye, Moxie. I'll see you around. I wonder if I'm going to see that fox tonight. You're eating rice as you're watching me eat pasta. Fox? Yeah, there's a... There's a little family of foxes that lives out here. My favorite are the elbow mac and cheese. Mexican style chicken too. Oh yeah. I'm not a big fan of that one. Um, the sides are pretty good in there. Foxes are adorable. Carries not so much. Carries are cute too. Foxes out here are like really, really thin. Um, this is like not the normal habitat, so I'm surprised to see them down here. It's kind of dry out, and then there's construction nearby, so I'm pretty sure they've been they've been like getting kicked out of their home and kind of getting pushed over here. The beef stew, yeah, that that's a good one. It's got like little chunks of beef in it, little cubes. I was, you know, trying to think of all the pasta MREs, but that's not the pasta MRE. How the counties where I live look like they have mange? Probably. Just, just give them a bath. I'll take care of it, all right? You want to cook, but it's almost 11 and the only one awake. Yeah, don't wake uh, your family or your roommates or whoever.
Yeah, if you wake someone up cooking, offer them some of the food. I mean, I'd still be upset because I got woken up. I mean, it depends how quiet they're trying to be. Like, if they're, like, slamming the, the drawers and cabinets and the microwave's going off, beep, beep, beep. I'd be really annoyed. If you're trying to be quiet when you're cooking, then it's, it's kind of a soft wake up, not like an annoying wake up, you know? Brownie's 3 a.m. I'm always worried if I try cooking late at night, I'll end up falling asleep and burning something. Either the food or the house. Especially the fresh out of the oven and pair with the ice cream. I mean honestly waking up to a to a smell is like a pleasant way to wake up. Maybe start cooking at 3 a.m. Then they wake up around six to some brownies. It's one of the best mess kits ever made. So if you those camping, yeah. I mean, especially when you got the silverware set to go with it. I mean, the, the spoon's kind of big to like eat out of the spoon, but it's perfect for like cooking. Okay, I'm gonna give it like 10 more minutes because um, it's getting dark and I don't want to get like in trouble because you can't see the the black truffle sauce. It's almost 11 p.m. Does anything ever get caught in your beard? Yeah. That's what a napkin's good for. How's it 11.56 for you? If it's 8.51 for me. That's a discrepancy. And this phone's at like 40%. So I'll have to end this live and plug my phone in and charge it and then get back out here with a uh, camp light and like, uh, I'll set a little something up. It's getting dark, yeah. It's pitch black. It's getting dark. Give me like eight more minutes. I wonder if those foxes are going to be coming back. <sighs> Chucked a whole water bottle. Now my tummy hurts. Yeah, don't do that. That's yeah, way too dark.
these doors. Where's these buttons? Oh, good lord. Finding yourself, yeah, it's, it's some, I mean, this is like, this is a lot easier than getting my ring light out and setting up my ring light, and it's like just this, this camp light. Then like their, their refraction in the, the jar is better than if it's a, if it's a ring. You're already blind. How's your day? Uh, spent most of it in a storage unit, sweating, trying to dig some stuff out to get that stuff shipped. And I checked my emails and got a bunch of emails. And it's like, uh, I think like nine emails from like one customer. I'm just like, oh God, this guy's probably pissed. <sighs> probably have to get at that tomorrow. So black truffle sauce. Absolutely delicious. A um, little more required taste because, you know, the truffle thingy. Uh, a little, little earthy, a lot of mushrooms in here. Really delicious. Um, not my favorite of these sauces. I like the, uh, the Sicilian olive, the eggplant parmesan, and the creamy vodka. Um, better than this, but this is still very tasty. If truffles are your thing, this is definitely like the sauce for you. I think I might like shave this up a little bit and then uh, come back and make a few more videos tonight. I also kind of want to go to bed and sleep in. I got to wake up early. Do you have any beard growing tips? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have any growing tips or maintenance tips. Mine's just all uh, genetics. Diesel by Cheese Lord. Interesting username. Eco Jacks, hello. You should definitely try some of the uh, the gourmet pasta sauce I have for a collab. The uh, Sicilian olives and the eggplant parmesan are my favorites. Adequate sleep is important to overall health. <sighs> Maybe that's why I've been having a really rough time lately. Uh, I should drink one of those hydration drinks and uh, get eight hours of sleep. Maybe I'll feel better. Okay, two minutes. I'm gonna go plug my phone in. Chugging monster. Yeah, those are definitely not good for you. Gonna go make breakfast? Okay. So you dehydrated and sleep deprived? That sounds about right. I mean, kind of been stressed out with like not having a job, my truck getting broken into, and like a bunch of my stuff's gotten stolen, and then like I had to remake a bunch of stuff for my Etsy shop, and then like I got to return my Etsy shop, and I still got orders to ship out. I'm just like, uh. <sighs> hi guys. Hi hi hi. 
Okay, one minute. Are you tired? But at least I got super delicious food. So that makes up for something, right? That cheese lord part is difficult to explain. Okay. I want my Pookie to go alive and he won't. All right. Uh, Rattle six, coming dark.